Hi, I'm Karen Kaiser, your state senator from the 33rd Legislative District. As we finish the second week of our short legislative session, we're taking steps to find places where we can be more efficient in government and also make some necessary cuts before we begin to look at what may be some targeted changes. It's the beginning of a difficult process. For this week, I want to focus on the budget and what's happening. Our budget is projected to come up short by $2.6 billion this year, which is why we should take cuts and find new revenue before we adjourn with a balanced budget. It's important to remember that even as the legislature wrestles with making this budget cut, it slashed $3.6 billion already last year in services in the budget. Washington was extremely fortunate to receive help from the federal government in addressing our overall budget deficit, but still, the budget we passed last year spends about a billion dollars less in state revenue than the previous budget. While most of last year's cuts came in the form of important programs and services, more than one billion was saved through administrative cuts that affect real people. In the last year, some 800 million in teachers and state employee compensation was wiped out, and the legislature required state workers who were due already negotiated moderate, modest salary adjustments to accept a pay freeze. Some 200 million in health insurance costs were also shifted to the pocketbooks of state workers with higher deductibles and co-pays and point of service charges. We instituted furloughs for state employees, asking them to shorten the number of hours that that they work, a step which through December 31st has resulted in almost 23,000 hours of unpaid leave. And we cut over 3,000 state jobs. And the governor's budget this year calls for an additional 1,500 more job cuts. Government employment used to mean that in exchange for lower wages, employees could be relatively secure in their jobs. Sadly, that security is now gone. The lower wages, however, remain. I will end this week with a couple of notes about past spending. Some people like to say that we have a spending problem, that it might be more accurate, however, to say that we do have a revenue problem. Despite a population growth in our state of nearly a million people in the last 10 years, along with much larger demands on services that more people bringing, living in the state bring to our state spending, per capita spending has actually declined. In other words, we haven't spent more money per person than we did 10 years ago, but we do have more people. What we also saw, because our budget is based on sales taxes, was that the largest decline in taxable retail sales on record happened in 2009 because of the Great Recession. And of course, since our budget is based predominantly on sales taxes, those who are least able to afford taxes uh, end up paying the greatest percentage of their income in taxes. Those who could afford to make big ticket purchases also stopped buying things like cars and houses and hot tubs and durable goods. So hopefully now, as our economy slowly recovers, we will also see a re recovery in spending, sales taxes, and revenues. I will have another update for you next week as we make progress to deal with this difficult budget picture.